guys, so I am back with another video for you. I just got back from vacation last night actually and I have been gone for two weeks. I haven't been able to sit down and film in two weeks and it is so crazy and weird to be filming right now, but I am so excited because I figured the first video I would come back with is a Sephora haul. I have things that I've purchased and also some things that I got from PR. So I'll do the things I bought first and then the PR stuff last. I also want to quickly announce, speaking of Sephora, I will be at the Sephora in NYC in Union Square this Friday. I'll leave all the info down below in the description box if you're interested, but I am so excited to meet you guys. I haven't done a meetup in so long and I love New York so I'm really excited to go back and to meet some of you. Like I said, I'll have everything listed down below but it is in NYC this Friday at the Union Square Sephora. Some of the stuff that I have that I purchased I have tried so I'm going to share that with you guys and then I'm going to mention some of this PR stuff, some of the stuff I like, some of the stuff I don't like but I'm going to let you know. First thing I'm going to mention is the Kane and Austin Primer Protect Mattifying Primer. It has SPF 50, it's green tea, vitamin C, and a bunch of other little things in here that I don't know, but I do know the green tea and vitamin C. But I have never heard of this brand before, and I had read the reviews, and they were really good, so I wanted to give it a shot, and it is a mattifying primer, so oily skin, I had to try it out. That's what the bottle looks like. It's really sleek, really easy. It's just a squeeze bottle and when you pump it out it does have a tint to it as you can see it's not a white or clear primer but I absolutely adore this primer it's a very soft silicone feel kind of primer and what I love the most about this is it is tinted so I was super burnt on my face so if you see like my scalp peeling I am currently dealing with that right now but my face was really red because it got burnt one day and I had put this on and it really evened everything out believe it or not like it looked so good to the point where I could just wear this and no foundation and I would be fine the color correcting with this and the foundation just really made my skin look good and like it didn't look like I was overly burnt on my face so I really like it and I do find that it keeps me nice and matte and since it is such a soft kind of formula it makes your skin feel really smooth and your foundation just glides over your face I honestly can't say enough good things about it. I'm so excited that I got this and I'm going to have to check out some more things from this brand because I was super impressed by this. And then the last thing that I tried on vacation is this Shiseido, Shiseido, I don't know how to say it, Translucent Loose Powder. Now I purchased a couple loose powders because I'm kind of tired of using my Laura Mercier powder which I love that powder but I'm just, you know, when you get sick of products I've just used it for so long that I want to try some new things. I decided to pick this little guy up. It just looks like this and it does have a puff on the inside and of course the sifter which it's a mess right now but I really love this powder I think it is such a gorgeous finish it's really finely milled so it doesn't look chunky on your face it really sinks into the skin so you can bake with this product of course the only downfall is that it is a loose powder so it does get messy but if you're kind of used to that it's fine it's not really a big deal it's kind of just like the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder but I really like this I don't think that it has a flashback in photos at least from what I've seen and then I did get this which is kind of random it's the shaving cream for sensitive skin. It has green tea and oatmeal in it and it's from the brand Proa... Proacel? I don't know. That's what it looks like right there. I just wanted to try something out that's for sensitive skin and this kind of has like the L'Occitane squeezy tube to it. You know those little lotions that they have. That's the kind of feel that this one has and I love the packaging of it. It has 5.2 ounces in it so hopefully it's good for sensitive skin. I want to try this for like my underarms and my legs because sometimes more, mainly my underarms get super sensitive so maybe this will help me out. And then I did get a new brush. This is the Featherweight Sephora brand brush. I think this was like a bronzer brush in the number 91. By the way, I'm sorry my foundation doesn't match that well. I have nothing to match my tan. I haven't been this naturally tan in years. I don't remember the last time I was. Ooh! Oh, it's so soft. It kind of reminds me of a smaller version of the Marc Jacobs one that I have somewhere. But it is so soft, kind of has that dome shape to it. And it is pretty forgiving. It's not really stiff or anything and it has a really long handle. This is going to be nice for a bronzer or even like a face powder, like dusting away your baking or whatever. 
I'm excited to use this. And then I got this brush. It's the RMS Beauty Skin to Skin Foundation Brush. Basically, it's supposed to be like your fingertips, but in a brush. So if you're like me, don't like using your foundation with your fingertips, this might be an option for you. I don't really know how this is going to work out since it's supposed to mimic your fingertips, basically. But the reason why your fingertips work best usually is because of the warmth of them. And you're not going to get anything warm. <laughs> In this brush but uh, that's what the tip looks like if you can see it has like little swirls in it so yeah it's the smallest like little foundation brush ever but maybe I can use it for under eye it's pretty stiff first impression um, I'll probably have to return this but I will try it out let me know if you guys want to see this like as a tested out Thursday or something okay the other powder that I tried today is the Kojindo face powder again this is a translucent powder same concept um, it does have a bigger packaging is this more product okay so the Shiseido one you can see is smaller this is the Shiseido one if I'm saying that wrong I'm sorry and this is the Kojindo the Kojindo has 12 grams and this one has 18 grams and you would think just because the packaging, this one was bigger, but it's not. This one has more product in it. This one wasn't my favorite so far. I still want to try it a little bit more. It does look a little bit more powdery on the skin. I feel like this one kind of just sets, and when you brush it away, it looks like your skin, but really soft and just a really great finish. But again, I have only tried this once, so I need to try it a little bit more, especially when my skin is not so dry from being sunburned. I will have to try this but it's not a terrible powder I just prefer the other one over this one so far okay I never purchased Dior lip products I think the last lip product I purchased from Dior was forever ago and it was a lip gloss which is amazing I think it was like the Hydra lip gloss or something it's so good but I figured I would try this out um, just to wear like daily you know like a lip balm or something it's the Dior addict lip glow pomade and it's in 001 this is the first Dior lip pomade SOS intensive care with custom natural rosy tint it's breakthrough oil gel texture with a high shade concentration it provides the lips with deep nourishment protection and instant comfort melt in gel that transform into a shiny rosy oil for immediately immediately smooth plump and radiant lips I mean, doesn't that just sound good? And look at how pretty it is. I figured I would try this out. I'm all for trying things that are going to hydrate my lips. And it just comes out like a light pink color. Again, it says it's supposed to transform on, me, on your lips to a rosy color, but I can't try that right now because I have a lip gloss on that I'm going to share with you in a minute. This is the Givenchy Hydra Sparkling Shine No More Fluid Mattifiant Protector. Basically, it's supposed to be a mattifying lotion or a face moisturizer. I don't believe I've seen Givenchy have anything like this. I don't think they too, cater too much to oily skin. They do have a couple great mattifying products, but not a lot. So I was excited to see this. It says it's a unique concentrated five molecule compound that generates genuine sparkling water deep within the skin. It's twofold hydrating and energizing technology creates an effect of intense luminescence. The translucent melt away and non oily perfecting fluid recreates the illusion of skin free of imperfections even from up close. A refined texture visibly minimizes pores, a velvety matte finish and luminous moisture its radiance for skin that is pure and more beautiful each day. So. Basically, it's like your moisturizer before you put on your makeup. That's really cute packaging. I like that, and it does have a pump. So again, I will let you know I'm all about mattifying products for my face, especially face lotions before I put on makeup. I don't want them too mattifying to where I feel dry and like the life has been sucked out of my face. I do like ones that mattify the skin and help control that oil throughout the day not anything that's going to be too intense I have tried some mattifying products that like really dry out my skin and I don't like that feeling I will be the first to say that I have not found a Tatcha product that I'm really obsessed with I did try a couple things but I just felt like they weren't worth the money but I saw this and I figured I would give the brand another try I know a lot of people love this brand but I just haven't been able to uh love it so this is the balanced pore perfecting water gel moisturizer it's a moisturizer ideal for oily skin this water gel delivers weightless hydration to refresh clarify and balance oily skin needs some balance so hopefully that will do it it says to massage one to two pumps of water gel moisturizer over face neck and decolletate in upward strokes Ooh, i thought Givenchy had pretty packaging this is way prettier. It's coming off a little bit lighter on camera, but it's like a gorgeous mint seafoam color to white. Ooh, that is pretty, but it's not about the packaging. It's about the products. Whoa. It's definitely kind of runny. You can see? That feels really good. 
I'm gonna rub it all over my body now, this extensive ass moisturizer. <laughs> Nothing like intense or anything. It kind of smells just fresh. So I'm excited to try this out. I'll let you know. Pretty, pretty packaging. Hopefully I can like this product. This is something you guys have been tweeting me about and putting on Instagram that you want me to try. So I had to buy it because I think this is so crazy. I don't even understand this. I just saw it and purchased it. I didn't even read reviews. I figured for a test out Thursday it would be awesome. So it's the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops Oil Control. And it says, custom blot drops allow you to customize your favorite beauty products to have a matte finish. One drop at a time, your product is weightlessly transformed to help control shine and your skin looking naturally matte. That is so freaking cool. I've tried the Cover FX Custom Drops, the ones that you can mix in with your foundation for a new color or use by themselves. They're really great. But I've never even thought that somebody would come out with custom mattifying drops, like mattifying a foundation. That's so cool. I will definitely do a test out Thursday for you guys. It'll probably be up next Thursday, but that is like the coolest thing ever. I'm so excited to try this. Next up, everything is mattifying. I'm sorry for my dry skin people, but it's summertime, I'm oily, I'm looking for new mattifying products, and these were just like all over the Sephora What's New page. This is the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Super Sealer Mattifying Setting Spray. Makeup prep and set for all skin types. So, as you guys know, I tried so many setting sprays and nothing has really just like stood out to me. Last one I tried was the Bosha White Charcoal Setting Spray and I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, but this one is just a clear product. I will definitely try it. I've never tried Cinema Secrets before. I know a lot of people love their brush cleaner, which I still need to try that. I'll let you know. We all know I'm not huge on setting sprays. Like, I'm not a firm believer in them. I think a lot of it really comes from primers and everything. But I'm going to try to get on the bandwagon of loving setting sprays because... I'm just having a hard time. Really quickly, a repurchase. Let me know if you guys remember this from back in the day, but this is the Clinique Deep Comfort Body Butter. I used to use this all the time. I really love it. It's such a great body butter. You can see right there. Really great for dry skin. I actually need to apply it like all over right now because I'm pretty dry, but I love this. Yeah, I had to repurchase this just because I saw it on the site and I was like, hey, I haven't tried you in a while, and it was cheaper than L'Occitane. Next up, I got a new concealer to try out. Um, I don't know if I've tried anything from Amazing Cosmetics before, but I wanted to check this out. It's the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer, and yeah, I don't know. The packaging is kind of like, mm, kind of like drugstore to me, but hopefully it's good. I don't, I don't know if this color is going to match me anymore because I didn't think I was going to get this tan. It seems like a pretty thick concealer. So, I don't know. I'll have to try it out and let you guys know. Then I also got the Sephora brand 10 Hour Wear Perfecting Foundation. Again, I don't know if this is going to match me because I just got like a serious tan. Um, but this is oil free and basically it just says that it's medium coverage, buildable, and there's a 10 hour wear. So hopefully this is good stuff. I really like this pump. I think I tried the color out before I left and it was good and now it's probably just not going to work. So. We'll see. Two more things I purchased. I know this is super long. I'm going to get through the PR stuff really quickly, though. Um, this is the Lancome Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. I feel like this has been around for a while, but I haven't tried it. just comes in a squeezy tube like this, and you just squeeze it on out. Let's see if this is a little bit thicker. This is really light, too. I should have thought about this, but, but this one has like a better consistency than the Amazing Cosmetics one. It is too light for me. I'm going to have to go with a darker shade, but like right off the bat, I can tell this one is much more creamy and blends easier than this one. This one has like more of a, I don't know, drier texture, so we'll see. Okay, the last thing I want to mention to you guys, I forgot I had tried this out, but I didn't put it in the beginning of the video. This is the Givenchy bronzer in 04. It's the Powder Mon Mine. I don't know. I don't know. Here you go. I'll let you read it. This is the one I got. I actually purchased one of these not too long ago, but it was too light for me. So I got a darker shade and I'm just, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. I have dipped into it, but it's not one of my favorite bronzers. I feel like you really have to dig your brush in there to get the product to show up on your face. I believe this is like the second darkest shade in the line, and for some reason I just can't get it to work for me. It looks absolutely beautiful on my finger and like when I swatch it, but even there you can tell it just doesn't show up that much. It gives a really nice bronzy glow, nothing like too intense, but I love 
deep bronzers. They have another bronzer that I used all the time back in the day. It was a round compact and that's an amazing bronzer. But this one, just not a big fan of. We'll probably return this because it's just not what I expected. Moving on to PR stuff that I'm going to just kind of quickly get through. I'm going to let you know if I like it or not or what I'm excited to try and just share some new things with you. First thing I want to shout out is the Benefit Cub Cabral products. These are the two that I like the most out of the line. I have tried the pencil. I've tried the other thing that like grows your brows. But these two are my favorite. This is the Gimme Brow. I love the original Gimme Brow. They just repackaged it so I knew I was going to like this. And then this has been my new favorite brow product. I have been using this over my Anastasia Dip Brow. And it's just a pomade like this. I have another one in my makeup bag that I've been traveling with. And I love it. I'm not a huge fan of this little guy um, when I put it on here and, and I try to do my brows I find that it's just not enough for me it's too small but I do like the product that is on the inside of the pot it lasts a really long time have it on my brows now and I think the color is very forgiving this is in the shade 4 and since I did go lighter with my hair I was kind of nervous that it would be too dark but I think it looks really nice because it kind of matches my roots so this one is a go for me it's the cream gel brow and also the gimme brow are just my two favorites so I'm gonna quickly talk about Too Faced real quick they have sent out so many different things so this I'm actually wearing right now it's the Too Faced Born This Way naturally radiant concealer I like this so far I have it underneath my eyes I feel like it blends so well and I personally love this applicator I feel like it comes out with enough product some people might think that's a lot of product on there but I personally love it when it comes out on this doe foot because I can apply a lot I like a lot of concealers so I like to just put it everywhere and I think this is awesome it blended out so well and it really does look like your skin I love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation so I knew I was gonna love this the only thing I was worried about is that it would be a little bit more sheer than like my Urban Decay Naked concealer which I am out of I ran out over the week um, but this is great I really love it and it has really great coverage so if you kind of feel nervous to try this because you think it's gonna be a little bit more sheer definitely give it a try because I was pleasant surprised with how much coverage this had. Next is the Too Faced Totally Cute Palette, I guess is what it's called. I got this in the mail and I was like, I'm so excited to try it. One of the shadows I actually have as a highlight right now because I swatched it and I was like, I'm putting that on my face tomorrow. <laughs> so I did decorate my palette. Of course it has basically all the food on it and a dog um, and some lips, but this is what mine looks like. I just kind of stuck everything on there and of course I have the pizza one. You know, I wasn't not going to include the pizza one. I believe there is a mirror under here. Yes, there's a mirror under this little palette right here, or this little pamphlet. And this is what it looks like. It has such beautiful colors. This is what I have as a highlight on my face right now. And I also have it underneath my brows and in the inner corners. Um, but all of these colors are beautiful. They are very creamy. I also have this shade, which is Bunny Foo Foo in my crease. Then you have Chocolate Donut, Clover. I just really love all of these shades and again they are so freaking pigmented. I love them so definitely check out this palette. I love that they did something where you could customize your palette as well. These I believe are supposed to come out mid-June. I could be wrong. I will leave the exact date down below but it's called a brow quickie and it's a 12 hour wear brush on waterproof brow fiber gel. Have not tried this. I opened up some packages yesterday and this was one of them. They sent over Universal Brunette and Universal Taupe. I don't know how many shades that they'll have in the line, but this is what it looks like. They have, they always have like the cutest packaging ever. Okay, this is the last thing from Too Faced. This is what I have on my lips right now and I'm not going to wear these. <laughs> this is not my kind of thing, but I wanted to try it out because I've always heard of the lip injection lip gloss from Too Faced. And I've always been scared of it because I've heard it is so intense and very, like, just stings so much. So they came out with the Lip Injection Glossy. So the original Lip Injection is just a clear gloss. And then they came out with these that have tints to them. I have on Babe Alert, which is just a peachy color. These aren't super pigmented. It's just a hint of gloss. Still a clear gloss, but just with a hint of color in it. These burn like hell. Literally, I put this on and I was like, oh, this isn't bad. You know, whatever. It was like a minute or so. And then it kicked in and I was like, oh my God, no, I can't. I can't do these. 
I, if you love the lip injection, you'll probably love this line with the colors and stuff in it, but I can't handle that pain. This lasts, I put this on forever ago. It's probably lasted about 30 minutes and I can still feel the stinging. Next, I did get two little things from NARS. They do have this Laguna Casino Duo. I don't know if this is like a permanent thing, if they've had this and they just sent it over to me. This is a bronzer duo with Laguna and then Casino. Casino is just a little bit darker. If you want something that you could travel with to have to contour, this would be awesome. And then they also sent over this little palette that I love because these are like my kind of shades. And this is the Long Hot Summer Eyeshadow Palette. Just a very bronzy, warm eyeshadow palette that would be great for the summer times. Moving on. Oh, I forgot to mention that this I also purchased at Sephora as well. It's the Marc Jacobs Marvelous Mousse transformative foundation this I have on right now it says it's lightweight full coverage and luxurious now I really like this so far I think I might prefer this with the beauty blender I did apply it all over my face with a brush but for some reason my nose is super red some foundations just won't cover the redness on my nose with a brush I'll have to go in with a beauty blender and then if it still doesn't cover it up I just have to return it because I if I cannot cover the redness on my nose, I'm going to go crazy. So I had to use the Beauty Blender to cover the redness. The brush didn't do it. This is what it looks like. It has 0.63 ounces in them, which is not even a full ounce. But hopefully it does last a while. So far, I really like it. I will say if you have dry skin to the point where it's patchy, you probably won't like this because I've noticed it definitely cleaned to the patchy dry spots that I have on my forehead right now since I did get a sunburn. So if you do have really dry skin, just be warned that this will probably stick to them because it's stuck everywhere on my forehead. But if you have oily skin, I would definitely try it out. So far, I really like it. Okay, a couple things I want to mention from Estee Lauder that I love that they came out with. This is the last thing I'm mentioning, or the last brand I'm mentioning. They came out with these Cocoa Balm Coconut Infused Lips. And I love it. I've been using Coco Peach. This is like the coolest packaging for lip gloss ever. So it comes like this. You take this top off and you squeeze this and then the product comes out. This smells so good. Pretty good color payoff. It does have that peachy coral color because this is the Coco Peach one. It smells like summer and it's so moisturizing and I just love this to like pop in my purse, pop in my makeup bag because it is kind of slim and I just think it looks so cute. Like if you pop this out when you're at lunch, people are like, what the hell is she putting on her lips? And you're just like, this is the one thing I was so excited about. I showed it on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. I'll leave my name right here. Sometimes I show products before I even show it on my YouTube. Sometimes I don't even show it on my YouTube channel. This is one of the products that I was like, <gasps> I cannot wait. It's the Essay Edit Flash Illuminator Fluid Powder in 01 Heat. If you guys remember a couple years ago, they came out with a highlighter called Heat Wave, and it was the shit. It was the best highlighter I have ever like dealt with. It was so beautiful, very creamy. It was a golden highlighter, and it just looked beautiful on the skin. So when I saw that this was in 01 Heat, I was like, ooh, maybe it's like a Heat Wave alternative, because this isn't as golden as Heat Wave was. This is what it looks like when you swatch it. It looks so beautiful. And it is a beautiful highlighter, as you can see right there, but I will say it's not as like bam like this one. It's more of a subtle highlighter, and it doesn't have as much sparkle and shimmer as I would like. So I'm a little disappointed in it just because it's not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be kind of like heat wave amped up a little bit. It's not an ugly highlighter. It's not a bad highlighter. It's just not as intense as I wish it was. So. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this ginormous Sephora haul slash what's new at Sephora. I just had so much PR stuff coming home and I figured I would show you some of my favorite things and things I can't wait to try out and things that weren't that great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.